Hi, I'm Eric from Airwolf, and I'm here today with our Evo 2X large 3D printer. As you can see, we're printing a large, in this case, two-day print. That's approximately eight pounds of material. So this particular part is made out of ABS, and it's critical that the layers are perfectly adhered to each other. Now, what happens when you get a filament jam or you may run out of filament? Well, some printers will have filament sensors and they work decently, but what happens over time is you can get artifacts in those filament sensors and then you start getting a lot of false positives and the machines are frequently shutting down for what they perceive as filament jams. What we've done here is taken a simple approach and we have created a feature called Restore. And that feature will enable us to go back into the print to where we might have had a jam or ran out of filament and start the print exactly where we left off. So I'm going to show you today how that feature works. So this particular print has been going for, I think, approximately 28 hours or so. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to cut the filament to it and I'm going to let the machine air print for a while. So there we go. I have intentionally sabotaged our very large and might have very important piece that we're printing here. And I'm going to come back uh, after a while, after we've been printing in the air, and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to restore this part. So stay tuned. So we're back with our Evo 2X. And as you can see, it's air printing because we cut the filament a while ago. So what are we going to do now? How do we restore this print? Well, it's pretty simple. And I'm going to show you right now. We're going to start by pressing the restore button. And what the restore button will do is it'll stop the head and then it'll give us the opportunity to remove and load new filament. Again. So now you see the head is stopped and we are in restore mode with a special menu up here. So we have a couple different situations with restore. One, if we run out of filament. And that's essentially what we've done here by cutting the filament short. What we'll do is we'll just prime the new filament into the head and kind of push what's remaining out through the tip. The other situation would be a jam. In the case of a jam, we would press remove to get the old filament out of the top and then we would press load to put the new filament back in. So here we're just going to prime the new filament through. And we're going to hold the filament to guide it into the hot end and then once we see it coming out the bottom we're going to hit prime one or two more times to make sure we have all that filament ready to go for the print. And here you see it keeps coming out. So after this is done, I think we'll be in good shape. Now, what I like to do is I like to use the X and Y here to move the head around to get it right above the part. We basically want the nozzle to be about a layer or a touch less above the part when we restart it. That way we'll have a good bonding with the existing part. So I'm going to move toggle over here with the Y. Okay. I'm going to lower the Z down by pressing the plus button. And I want to be real sure that I'm about a layer above. And then after that's done, we're going to press restore. Okay, now the Evo 2X is going to go through its calculations. It's going to find out exactly where we left off. And it's going to resume the print as if nothing ever happened. So here we go. The Evo 2X has restarted exactly where we left off. And your print is restored. So if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe for more useful videos. Thank you so much.